Hey YouTube, Hope everybody's having a good Thursday. Uh, just wanted to get up a video here. I had a kind of a big mail day. First, I had uh, ordered a couple uh, cases of the top loaders. Those come in, and then I ordered a five thousand pack of the uh, uh, penny sleeves. Uh, the top loaders uh, got them on eBay. Pretty good price, really. A uh, thousand for uh, like fifty-five bucks. Uh, free shipping, so figured I might as well load up on those. And penny sleeves, I'm always needing those, so should this will be five thousand in here. I was hoping they were gonna come in a box, but they came in a bag. But that's all right. Anyway, so uh, got a few cards in uh, from the uh, auction that ended there uh, last weekend. So I just thought I would show those real quick. Uh, picked up another uh, Lou Brock. This was his 73 tops uh, in PSA 8.5. Real good looking card there. Then I picked up uh, the 1977 Tops Omar Moreno Pittsburgh Pirates rookie card. Uh, of course, he's in my stolen base, uh, top 50 stolen base leader. This is only a seven, but that's a tough card to find uh, graded anyway. Not too many people are grading these, but uh, he is number 42 on the all-time career stolen base leaders. Uh, with 487, only played 12 years. Also, still holds the uh, single season record uh, for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, he stole 96 bases in uh, 1980. Bob Lewis probably has that card. Uh, then I picked up a couple more uh, cup cards. I did not have the Jim Rice cup card yet, so I picked that one up. One, two, it's just an eight. Uh, so, not too expensive at all, but needed it for the set. And then, picked up, finally picked up Johnny Bench in a near mint 7. Uh, paid $144 for this card, so the last few Johnny Bench 7s were going for the at around 200 bucks so I was pretty happy to snag it for 144 uh, really good centering that's probably the most important to me anyway is the centering could be a tad off center top to bottom but really nice looking card uh, happy to finally snag that one I probably the only other big one I need is probably the Burt Campanaris uh, and I was bidding on that one in a nine, but uh, got outbid on that one. So just uh, keep the search going for that one. So that's my four cards. And then also I wanted to uh, show this other card that I got uh, and give a shout out to uh, Jeff Airtime Cards. He always does a little show on Sunday. Just uh, always does some giveaways or just talking cards and stuff like that. And. I actually won this Juan Soto uh, pink refractor. Uh, a couple, it was a couple of Sundays ago. Sunday mornings is when he usually does it. But he had actually pulled two of these in one break. So he decided to give one away. And I got lucky enough. Easy contest. It was just pick a number, one through a thousand. And I was picked uh, the number that was closest. So really happy to get that one. I'll probably end up getting this sucker slabbed. So, uh, if you don't already sub to Jeff Airtime Cards, give him a sub, and I'll, uh, after I get this posted, I'll get a link to his channel, uh, put on my page here, so, so thank you, Jeff, I really appreciate that, awesome card, awesome giveaway, and, uh, that's all I got, and we'll talk to everybody later.